class we learned how to create 3d model with the help of line tool and in this video clip we use lath modifier for creating 3d model and we call this spline modeling with the help of lath modifier you can create a cylindrical shape model they has a center axis and a outline by using line tool you can create this outline after creating outline you can apply lath modifier on this line so lath modifier create multiple copies on the center axis so pivot position or axis position is very important so first you have to move the pivot position in the center so object will be created from the center after creating multiple copies of outline and lath modifier create a surface on these copy outline so a 3d object created based on the outline these are other examples that you can create with the help of lath modifier because they all object has a outline and a center axis now i show you how you can create a outline for this led bulb so first you have to imagine this object as a half object so i select half part of this led bulb and then delete with the help of line tool you can create this outline so first click at this position and then click here third point in case if you want to add more details so create multiple point so you can give a curvature at this area when you create these point a linear line will be created like this and next step is select all the vertices and apply smoothness on this curve so this outline look very similar to this object now i switch to 3ds max so i can show you how you can create a outline first i place reference image in the front viewport so i click on this and by pressing alt w i maximize this and create a plane in the center of this grid click and drag a plane is created and then press f3 key for changing shading view plane tool is still active so right click to exit from the creation mode image aspect ratio should be similar to this plane otherwise this image look squeeze or stretch in case you want to modify the size of this plane click on the modify button and change the length or width or you can also use scaling tool now i click on the create button and then click on this icon for material editor and keyboard shortcut is m i click on this material editor will open now i move in the right side and then click and drag and apply this shading on this plane now i apply reference image in the base parameter you can see base color option available here in the right side of this base color click on this box and find bitmap it's available in the journal category collapse all the options that available here and find bitmap and you can also search bitmap in this search area double click on this and then select your reference image open reference image applied on this plane or you can also click on this button for applying selected material on the selected plane here you can see bitmap image path or in case you want to see the bitmap click on this button view image by clicking on this you can see the reference image now i close this and also close this material editor now i start creating outline so i click on the shape icon and then pick this line tool i zoom little bit this reference image by scroll wheel and then click on the center point then click here just click on the edge by scroll wheel i zoom out and in case if you want to pan this image click and hold your scroll wheel and then move upside and zoom this area i want to add a curvature in this area so i create a point here
and pan again by using scroll wheel and zoom out a little bit I just create points on the edge of this outline and then click on the center line tool is still connected so in case if you want to exit from the line tool just right click line creation mode is complete now and in case if you want to exit from the line tool just right click again so tool is disabled now and you can select all the vertices if you want to see this outline only you can off the visibility of this reference image by clicking on this i button in front of this plane so you can see visibility of this plane is turned off and you can see this line only if you want to select this outline hover your mouse on this outline when this plus icon appear just click and the second method is uh, first i click outside to deselect and the other method is by clicking on the line one so you can select this or you can change the visibility of this by clicking on the i button i enable the visibility for both object and then select this line now i go to modify tab and then click on this small arrow to expand the subdivision mode of this line so i click here and then select vertex so i can select vertices with the window selection they turn into red color it's mean all the vertices are selected now now i apply smoothness on these vertices so i right click and choose bezier corner or bezier option i choose bezier you can see on the screen green color handle appear these are beziers and by using these handles you can provide curvature on this outline first you have to deselect all the vertices so click on the viewport all the vertices will deselect now one by one select these vertices and by using select and move tool you can select and move and match with this outline so one by one i click and drag and apply smoothness first i zoom little bit if i select and move this you can see other side also effect with this handle so first undo by pressing ctrl z and then right click and choose bezier corner if you choose bezier corner only one direction will affect so i just click and move outside i want to move this little bit down but i am not able to move by double click on the square corner you can unlock the axis and you can move in the downside right now i am not able to see the outline so i click on the i button uh, i think it's look nice and then select this vertices and move little bit up this one okay you can check the smoothness of this outline by turn off the visibility of this reference image uh, now i select this point and move little bit okay uh, this time i right click and choose bezier corner so only this direction will affect and move outside now i select this and increase length little bit by click and hold on this yellow square you can move outside or inside this vertices I think smoothness is nice now I select this and 
apply bezier corner because i want to change in this side only move little bit upside and then apply bezier corner again so i can uh, i think it's lock i am not able to move double click on this corner and then move okay uh, this smoothness is very nice okay so uh, now i off the visibility for this reference image and you can see if you want to turn off these selection bracket press shift j you can see the uh, turn they are very smooth now our next step is changing pivot position so first click on the line so editing mode will be turned off and it is pivot we have to move this pivot in the center or you can snap this on the start point by click and hold on this three choose 2d snapping and then right click and choose vertex snapping now go to hierarchy and then click on the effect pivot only when you click on this button you can move this pivot when you move this pivot nearby this start vertex you can see a plus icon will appear when you release your mouse it snap to start point and then click on the effect pivot button now it's turned into a normal stage before applying lath modifier first turn off this snapping and then click on the modify modify list and find lath by typing l e t h e and then click on this so lath modifier will be applied but there is a problem related to lighting and then click on the flip normal checkbox and then maximize this perspective viewport uh, in case if you want to show the edges press f4 key for the edge face mode by pressing alt and scroll wheel you can rotate this in case if you want to increase the smoothness you can increase the segment value that available in the lath modifier so i increase little bit around 20 22 is fine value there is a hole on the top so you can fix this by selecting this vertices when you click on the vertex mode 3d geometry will gone so you can on the end result by clicking on this button show end result on off toggle i click on this and you can see this line is our outline by click and drag you can change the geometry by pressing alt w i switch to top viewport and then try to move this point you can select this top point from the top viewport make sure f3 is selected so you can see this outline and then try to move little bit inside or outside i think it's fixed now after applying lath modifier in case if you want to change the pivot position little bit you can click on the small arrow uh, that available in the lath modifier when you click on this access option available inside lath modifier when you click on this you can change the pivot position like this so it should be on the center point and you can see if i move this in the left side this hole is created on the top so it should be on the center so this gap will fill i hope you understand how to use lath modifier for creating this type model
by using this you can create bottles flower pot table lamp and crockeries